Hey guys, what is up Dave here coming back to you with a small update for 1320 challenge. This update more focused around kind of visual bug fixes, a small addition of a new testing part because I wanted to do some learning on how far can we push this and add new things as well as the long sought after car ID being visual. Now you might be saying, wait, you consider this a big thing? Let me explain to you the history of not only racing rivals, but 1320 legends. In Nitto 1320 legends, if you viewed somebody's garage, it's not this way on this game, and I'll explain the difference in a bit here, but if you went in somebody's garage on 1320 legends, their very first car that loads would be the oldest car in their garage. Car IDs were not visual in 1320 legends, so you had to use little exploited tools and stuff like that to try to see these IDs. But they were very sought after by collectors. The way these car IDs work is the older the car, the lower the ID. So my Honda Civic here being car ID number three, that means it's the third car that was ever added to the game. We cannot differentiate the cars. Like it's not the third Civic, it's the third car. There's no way to differentiate. So for example, that's the third Civic. This is the 45th Neon. 102nd RSX, really confusing. This is going to be the 506th car in the game, and it's not even in the game. So, yeah, it's not even in the game. Um, <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, it's, you know, and we made the car ID visual in two places because let's say somebody has a spotty history on sales of lying or scamming. Um, but they're not quite bad enough offenses that we have perma banned them for some reason. That's why they are also visual here in the online car list. Because if somebody claims they have car ID number 69 and they act and you go on their account and you actually see 247, you know they're lying to you. So, oh, that was James G's car, I bet. I want this 69 car. I need to buy it off of him. I own the account 69. I want to put it here but anyway um yeah so wow that's the first time racer search has ever worked for me actually now that i think about it but yeah so there was you know these car ids are a big deal to some people that really want to collect stuff and if you go to the discord and you go to the uh the used car lot you go to the used car lot right now you will see like maxed halloween wheels wrx since the update's not out they can't see it yet but like people are specifically looking for low id cars so if you go to like secret agents post looking for limited edition cars it looks like he actually took his post down for old cars i don't know why but uh he had a post where he was selling specifically low ID cars because since he's one of the administrators, he has the updates kind of early. Uh, in Racers Lounge, you'll see people were talking about low ID cars. Like, it's been all the rage lately. And people really want to start collecting these low ID cars. So when the game is, you know, two, three years old, these cars are going to be worth more. But the other fixes that we did were visual fixes. So you remember you used to log on and for some odd reason your stock wheels were on the front and the custom wheel was on the back. Fixed. If you went to the racetrack, tried to view the special class, none of these loaded, the visuals. Fixed. If you went to the part shop and tried to buy custom wheels, the images wouldn't load. Those are fixed. These will also be made better in the future, I promise. Um, so all those visual glitches and stuff like that are fixed now, thankfully, because we ended up contacting the person who makes the tool that we use for exploiting the game. I guess it's not exploiting when it's literally adding stuff to the game for the better of the game, but you know what I mean. So the tool we use for modifying the game. Um, and he explained to me how to properly use the tool and something that I overlooked and basically told me, this is why you're having problems. So. Those are fixed, uh, thank God. And another thing 
I need to go get a turbo car. So the other big thing that was changed, well, not changed, but added, because I like using this game for a learning process. Oh, boy. I like using this game to learn things. And, you know, we don't know how far we can go as far as, you know, what can we add, what can we modify, what can we fix. So one of the things I added, I'm just going to run a race. I want you to tell me in the comments if you hear it. I added a custom BOV. I wanted to see if we could do custom sound effects, and we can, which is really freaking cool, and I'm really happy about it. Um, I think the next thing we're going to do, uh, I've done custom audio already, as far as like a custom engine sound, and it just seems weird. I'm going to leave the engine sound alone for this game, I think. But doing custom BOV, custom NOS, custom, um, you know, Things of that nature, I think, are completely fine. I want to try to add a NOS purge. I think we could do it, and it could be a really cool animation to add just for the fun of it, and just set it on a different key, like F or something like that, or like Control. I think that would be a really cool thing to add because I want to do an animation next. I want to do a custom animation. I tried with one of the CPU racers for uh, Valentine's Day coming up. It just didn't work it wouldn't sit right it didn't go into the right position so also let me know if you like my new logo this is a hundred percent ai made 100 percent. the only things i added were the green accents that's it ai made the robot ai made the x and the purple background and everything i just put the robot where it is and the x uh and that's really and made it a circle let me know if you like it but yeah so that's basically the updates for 1320 challenge for now um next update will be probably before valentine's day adding a valentine's day themed uh you know uh, uh thingy uh ai thank you hard words are hard and we'll go from there uh, I want to put some emphasis on bracket racing. So if you want to see bracket custom wheels that are like trophy or earnable wheels, let me know. And we will try to set something up for the month of February and actually use like the event invite thing on Discord so we can get some trophy wheels out there. And I want to do something and get bracket racing a little bit more popular. Because right now just nobody runs it. Everybody runs head to head. Basically, nobody runs Bracket, and I know Sonic is a big collector of wheels and everything old school and everything collectible. I know he's going to want a set of trophy wheels. I'd like to give him a way to earn some, so <laughs> Bracket's going to be his best way to earn trophy wheels. But anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Let me know what you think of the update or any future ideas in the comments down below, and I'll talk to you later. Peace out.